Right now let's run through installing one of these machine setups for the first time. So here I have a PNLT machine setup file. Um, if I were to double click this, I could select the version of Pronest I want to use and then just follow the instructions to complete the installation. But let's take a look at doing this within Pronest LT just to give you a little bit better of an understanding of how it works. Okay, so right now I'm going to right click and then copy this file. So now I have that file uh, copied to my clipboard. I'll open up Pronest LT, select the data tab, click configuration archives and then configuration archives again. And here you can see I don't have anything installed yet. Select where are my archives stored. This is the location that Pronest LT is looking for archives in. Uh, right click and then paste that PNLT file in here. Okay, you can't see it, but it's been pasted into that folder. All right, and the archive is now shown in the list. To restore it, just select it, click restore. Here's a list of all the contents of that particular setup. Click the restore button. All right, so that machine setup is now installed. Let's take a second and set the primary machine in Pronest now. So on the File tab, select Preferences. On the left, click the Settings tab. And now set the primary machine to the one that you just installed. I'll select this PowerMax machine. Let's take a second and set the primary machine in Pronest now. So on the File tab, select Preferences. On the left, click the Settings tab. And now set the primary machine to the one that you just installed. I'll select this PowerMax machine. All right, so now every time I start Pronest LT, it will use this machine by default. At this point, I'll restart Pronest. Okay, and now you can see that that machine I just installed is listed here as my default machine, and those settings are loaded. Right now, if I were to add parts and then output the parts, I would be creating machine-readable code using this setup. As you continue using Pronest LT, you'll probably need to make changes in settings so that Pronest is customized for your needs. This may include things like which folder to write NC output files to, the CAD layer mapping, standard plate sizes, and so on. Once you've gotten all of your settings to a good spot, it's a good idea to create a backup archive that contains all of those personalized settings. So let's take a look at that now on the data tab. Select Configuration Archives and Configuration Archives again. This time select Create a New Archive. Just type a name in. Click Next. So all of the settings files that are found on your computer related to Pronest will be included by default in this backup. So if you have multiple machines, this will include all of them by default. Um, let's click Create. Okay, and that archive is now created and it's stored in the same location that we looked at earlier. So this link here where my archive is stored contains the backup PNLT file. This can serve as a restoration point in case your PC crashes. Basically it serves as an insurance policy for your settings. We encourage you to be proactive about file management and use good practices. So create multiple copies of this file, store it in different locations, on different drives or devices, It'll make it a lot easier to get back up and running if you ever do have a hardware failure.